Well, time to get back to your forecast now because just a Great day of weather after the severe weather that we saw in our area earlier this week. We saw snow, we saw tornadoes. So let's find out from Robert. Little bit of a damper tonight, though. Yeah, but you know, we, we've got some rain tonight, but it's falling while most of us are asleep, the majority of it. And I think we'll take that over it rains all day Saturday. That way, 95% of our weekend is in really good shape. Uh, there's a look at the satellite and radar picture right now. You can see some of those showers pressing their way through central, and most of it's still back across the Texas panhandle and the Oklahoma panhandle right along that front. But a couple of weaker returns are starting to press their way toward the Tulsa area. Still a couple of hours to go before we'll start to see some rainfall. We don't even really have that much clouds uh, yet out ahead of that system. We're in Bentonville. You're at 63 degrees. Very dry dew point there of just 30. Most temperatures across northwest Arkansas, lower 60s. Drake Field, one of the warmer spots at 65. Atop our tower in Fort Smith, there's the sun setting. Still mostly sunny skies out there in and around the Fort Smith area where you're at 68 degrees. Still nice, like I said, dry dew point there at 33. Temperatures across the River Valley, we're mostly lower 70s and upper 60s on this uh, Friday evening, so not too bad. We'll see clouds begin to increase as we get closer towards sunset. And as I said, there could be a couple of sprinkles with that initial wave of shower activity, but the bulk of it doesn't get here until probably after midnight. That rain could come down. There could be a pocket or two of some heavier rain, maybe a rumble of thunder or two, but thunderstorms and severe weather really not expected. This is basically just a plain rain event, uh, thankfully, across our area. The front will roll through here in the pre-dawn hours for your Saturday and push some of that rain away. You can see by 7 a.m. Northwest Arkansas already starting to dry out. Some leftover renegade showers and sprinkles for the River Valley, but by lunchtime tomorrow, peaks of sunshine and clouds out there. And by the after the early evening, everybody dealing with lots of sunshine. Not a ton of rain is going to fall a quarter to maybe three tenths of an inch of rain uh, across the region. So we're not worried about flash flooding or anything like that. Just garden variety showers out there tonight. 40s across the board across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley we will rebound tomorrow back up into the mid to upper 60s uh, for your temperatures. Now Sunday looks great. We're in the 70s. Really no problems if you're headed to the Women's Expo tomorrow as well in Springdale impact day on Monday for that uh, rain and perhaps thunderstorm activity that could linger into Tuesday and then lots of sunshine for the rest of the week. But temperatures do cool off slightly about the same in the River Valley. A couple of sprinkles tomorrow, much more significant weather for Monday. That could be a couple of isolated strong to severe storms as well that could linger into your Tuesday. How about Darby nailing it right on the head for our temperature for Springdale yesterday, right at 63 degrees. Congratulations to Miss Michelle Hutchinson of Cedarville. She will get the Darby Bybee umbrella and then Brandon tomorrow will take you out to Vianne, Oklahoma and forecast a temperature of 70 degrees. All right, like 70, Robert. Well, you know, both.